commuters in Singapore can anticipate significant advancements in Singapore's rail network in the new year, such the introduction of seven new MRT stations along the Thomson East Coastline TEL. The Land Transport Authority LTA said in a media release on Wednesday, December 13, that the new developments signify its strategy to enhance Singapore's rail network to accommodate over 3 million rides steady. A glimpse into future stations and network growth. TEL Stage 4 TEL 4 is slated to introduce seven new stations in 2024, Tanjong Ru, Ketong Park, Tanjong Ketong, Marine Parade, Marine Terrace, Siglap, and Bayshore. LTA said, train testing is ongoing on TEL 4, and the stations will be progressively handed over to the operator SMRT early next year. Following this, SMRT will conduct their trial running activities before the commencement of passenger service. Meanwhile, the North East Light Extension Nele, which connects Pungal MRT Station to the new Pungal Coast MRT Station, is on schedule for its opening next year. Construction for the new station and tunnels is substantially completed, with ongoing efforts focused on station fitting out and the installation of electrical and mechanical systems. In tandem with the continued progress on the Jerome Region Line JRL and Cross Island Line CRL, construction for King Albert Park, Clementi and West Coast stations in CRL Phase 2 is slated to commence in the first quarter of 2024. Construction tenders for the remaining three stations are also set for awarding next year. LTA said these collective endeavours will aim to introduce over 50 new stations by 2030. Expanding the current count of 200 MRT and LRT stations. This expansion plan also anticipates increasing the rail network length from around 258 km to over 330 km by 2030. The completion of TEL. JRL and CRL will bring us closer to our aim of expanding the rail network to about 360 km by 2030s, with 8 in 10 households within 10 minutes of a train station, LTE said. Upgrades, Integration, and Expansion Ongoing efforts are also directed towards upgrading the Circle Line alongside integration endeavours for the forthcoming Circle Line Stage 6. Ten of the 106 new trains have been introduced to the North-South and East-West Line fleet, while six new trains have joined the North-East Line NEL. At the same time, the first-generation trains on the NEL are also undergoing midlife upgrades. LTA said the introduction of these new and upgraded trains is set to equip the fleet with improved systems, facilitating more efficient and timely maintenance processes. To accommodate the increasing population in Sengkong and Pangal towns, the Sengkong Pangal LRT fleet will also undergo a significant upgrade with the phase introduction of 25 new two-car trains from the upcoming year. LTA is expanding the Sengkong Depot to support the expanded fleet. Additionally, enhancements at the Sengkong LRT station are underway to streamline passenger movement during boarding and alighting. For the Bukit Panjang LRT, two new trains are expected in 2024. These trains are among the 19 new trains replacing the first-generation vehicles that have been in service since 1999. The 13 second-generation vehicles introduced in 2015 are also undergoing upgrades aligned with the new communications-based train control signaling system. Two of these upgraded vehicles had returned to passenger service earlier this year and LTA anticipates these enhancements will improve the commuter experience on the Bukit Panjang LRT. Rail Expansion Milestones of 2023 This year, Singapore has achieved significant milestones in expanding its rail network. Construction commenced on key projects such as the JRL. CRL Phase 1 and Cross Island Limepungal Extension 
and these projects are expected to add 40 new stations. Progress on the Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System Link remains on track for passenger service commencement by the end of 2026. Phase 1 of the Singapore Rail Test Centre, the region's first train testing facility, is also completed. LTA has also enhanced the current railway infrastructure, with 2023 marking the completion of the renewal of the North-South and East-West Lines and Seoul 6 core systems. This initiative, which began in 2012, included upgrades to essential components like the track circuit, power supply, third rail, signalling system, sleeper replacements, and the introduction of new generation trains. These enhancements are expected to significantly improve the reliability of the Seoul, according to LTA. <laughs>